going on guys? Eric here with driverlineup.com where the okay is steering wheel holder as your host. Coming at you from not a truck. <laughs> We're getting ready to leave. Uh, it is Saturday morning. We'll leave either tonight or tomorrow. And this will be our final couple weeks in the General Flynn. So we're really excited about getting our new truck. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update this morning. Uh, talking about freight lanes and addressing a question uh, that came up in the last video. Now, <clears throat> I've come to realize that there's a couple prime drivers out there. Maybe even one, on, one or two on YouTube uh, who seem to think that I shouldn't talk about freight lanes and specifically the freight lanes that I like to run and have basically suggested how I should run my business. I want to make something clear for you guys. My business is, I, I do everything that I do to make my business successful and I do everything that I do on YouTube to help others make their businesses successful and in order to make my business successful, I need to also learn from all of you guys. And it's kind of this collaborative environment, right? I'm not selfish on that. Um, and so I'm gonna continue to do that. And if someone's gonna be upset about it and try to tell me how to run my business, that's a slap in the face. Don't tell me how to run my business. If I wanna share information about my journey with Prime Inc., I'm gonna share it. And if you don't like it, don't like it. I, someone telling me they don't like what I say on YouTube is nothing new <laughs> this is part of the pains of growing on youtube is there's always going to be someone who doesn't like something you say it is what it is i ain't changing nothing don't try and tell me how to run my business what i do is my business what i choose to say on youtube is what i choose to say on youtube don't try and tell me how to run my channel i don't try and tell anyone how to run their channel don't go out there lashing out. I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to start no YouTube drama. I just like to share information. And by doing so, people share information with me. The second thing I want to say on these freight lanes is Prime Turn Down is currently turning down or rejecting more loads than we book. In fact, a couple weeks ago, uh, I think it was said that Flatbed rejected like 13,000 loads, something crazy. So if I sit here and mention that my favorite, some of my favorite freight lanes exist in four states, I don't say what customers, I don't say what cities. I give you this huge region of states that I like to go into. Just because I say that doesn't mean there's not going to be any freight left for me or for any of you, that's crazy. There is so much freight out there, you guys. Talking about freight lanes on YouTube does not make it so that we all can't go out there and haul freight. That's silly and it's absurd. So I'm gonna continue talking about freight lanes. I hope it's helpful for all you guys. I am not gonna back down from that. And what someone else says, if they're a little bit frustrated or whatever, look, I can't make everybody happy. I hope that my content is helpful for, a, for, for most of you. And the feedback has been really excellent and the growth has been really excellent. And we grew like by 120 subscribers in the last seven days, which is crazy, you guys. Thank you so much for that. That said, <clears throat> when I mention, um, I mentioned, and I'll put the, the uh, screenshot of the comment here on the screen if I can. If I can't, I'll copy and paste it in the description down below. Uh, but in a video I did a, the other day when I was talking about the freight lanes that I like to run, someone asked me about the meat patch, which when I was solo, I spent most of my time out of the meat patch. And guys, this is not like trade secrets. <laughs> you know, the whole implication that I'm revealing some massive secrets is, is crazy. Now, I will say that I have always said on this channel, and some of you have disagreed with it, but I've always said on this channel that one of my biggest most valuable recommendations that I can make is that when you start when you upgrade run everything they throw at you now if you're a company you're gonna have to run it anyway right but if you're lease run everything they throw at you for a year um, we've we've kind of been advising some drivers Jenna's talking to drivers all day and she literally says do what we did get a notepad 
and go through and and make notes of every single shipper and receiver things you like about them things you don't like about them heck we even make notes on rest areas because we have a dog we make notes on everything we make notes on walmarts we make notes on hotels with parking we make notes on veterinarians that we see going down the road where there might be somewhere to park nearby in case of an emergency that was extremely valuable and and i've i've talked about that before on this channel too it's not the first time i've said that i said that months ago make notes on everything use google maps if you have to um, but document your entire first year and run everything they throw at you um, that that was extremely valuable to me because like i've said before it taught me where i wanted to run why i wanted to run there um, what places I don't ever want to go to again and what places I wouldn't hesitate to go to. Uh, but of course, as I said in the, in the video yesterday or day before, what, what lanes we run as a team, Jenna and I are much different than what we ran as solo. And the question was, what is the meat patch? The meat patch is, I think I mentioned like a month or two ago, I had read this book called Dodge City, uh, which is a fascinating historical book. Um, if you don't like getting like deep down into the mundane details of history, it may be a difficult read for you because it gets way detailed about Wyatt Earp and all those, all those lawmen of the Western frontier. But they talk a lot about the cattle drives and buffalo hunts and all that. And a lot of that occurred through Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma, um, even up into the Dakotas uh, uh, Iowa, um, gosh, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Illinois, so any, and Missouri. So those states that most of the cattle drives hap uh, were happening through because all the cattle drives had to get to where there were trains and major trains went through Kansas. So a lot of the cattle drives were going towards Kansas so that all the meat could be processed and put on trains and shipped out to the East Coast where the bulk of the population is. Well, even today, most of the beef plants are still in that area, north to south. That's the meat patch. So, uh, of course, in Kansas, you got your, your uh, Cargill's, your National, JBS, um, those are, primarily in Dodge City and Liberal, Kansas. Um, in Oklahoma, there's a couple beef plants down in Texas and Amarillo area. And in that region, there's beef plants. Um, you've got some in uh, Nebraska, Iowa. There's a JBS way up in the way up Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, I believe Minnesota, maybe South Dakota. Uh, St. Joseph area of Missouri. There's certainly um, good meat loads. And in Illinois, there's some meat loads, although Illinois is more poultry, so be more chicken. But that's basically the meat patch. So um, when you hear someone reference meat patch, it's basically the whole beef line, you know, the the the, uh, the cattle line. Now there's chicken, I've said this before, there's chicken like everywhere. I've picked up chicken loads in Phoenix and picked up chicken loads in Georgia and everywhere between, there's chicken everywhere. But beef is primarily in that beef, in that meat patch. So that's where I found a lot of my solo loads and that's where you will too. Again, this is not a trade secret. You're going to be sent in the meat patch. You're gonna get meat loads. There's tons of them. And the reason they work so well for solo is because meat comes frozen in those trailers and it stays frozen so it doesn't have a short life like produce. Produce are mainly team loads because tomatoes, you know, they gotta get them on a shelf fast. So those tomatoes have to get to the, to the customer as absolutely quick as possible. Every hour that they're on the road is an hour less that they can be on the shelf. Meat, you can take an, you can take a week to get steaks from point A to point B and they're perfectly fine because they're frozen and that's why a lot of those meat loads work so well for solo drivers. Um, so that's when I was solo, you know, I'd always try and again, you only have so much control unless you're just saying no to every load, which I don't recommend. But I'd always try when I had some control over it 
to be directed back into certain parts of that meat patch because they pay pretty good. They're pretty good loads. They have, they have um, just the right amount of time on them generally, so you're not just busting your ass, but at the same time, you're not wasting time. And they're great loads. So that's what the meat patch is. Um, hopefully that helps answer that question. And uh, again, sorry for a little bit of the rant at the beginning of this video. I just, it was kind of a slap in the face and rubbed me really wrong to see some, most comments, you know, I get a lot of trolls, a lot of, I get like my, my five or 10 thumbs down on every single video. It comes with the territory when you start growing on YouTube, but man, it really kind of rubbed me wrong to see someone else try and tell me how to run my business and my channel. Don't tell me how to run my business. I'm very happy. If you have recommendations or suggestions, please, I'm learning from you guys all the time. Like Million Mile Man, I learn stuff from him all the time. I call him every once in a while and just shoot the shit, you know. Lyle from No Hippie Trucking Trans Tra Transportation, he's the one who taught me the value of buying trucks versus leasing them over and over again. Constantly learning, good criticism and good feedback is great. But don't go out there and try and tell me how to run my business and my channel. You know, I, if I want to talk about the freight lanes, I'm going to talk about the freight lanes. If I thought that they were going to keep us all from getting more loads, I wouldn't talk about it. It doesn't. Prime has tons of freight, you guys. We're rejecting more freight than we're accepting. Just because I go out here and say, hey, our, my favorite place to run is these four states, doesn't mean that I'm keeping other trucks from getting loads. That's crazy. So... <laughs> Anyway, you guys, oh, YouTube's a trip, man. It is a trip. All right, guys, be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. We'll see you back out there on the road tomorrow, and uh, looking forward to having our new truck here in a few weeks. So that tour video is coming. Talk to you guys soon.